All right, if you've been to La Jolla Shores recently, you may have come across tar, uh, I should say, well, yeah, they are tar balls, dark and gooey balls along the beach. Yeah, pounds and pounds of them are washing up on the shore. You can see in this video, but what are they and where do they come from? He's like Sean Stiles is live, live with some answers with us. Uh, Sean, what is this yucky stuff watching up on our beach? Well, we'll, we'll get to that in just a second, but I want to tell you how I found out about these. Usually I don't come surfing down here at La Jolla Shores, but I got a text from a friend of mine, Josh Thomas, who is down here every day. He's a guide at La Jolla Kayak and takes people out in the water. So he said, Sean, I'm getting a ton of tar balls. Why don't you come down here to the beach? So we took a walk along the beach to see where all this tar was coming from. When did you first start to notice it? About four days, three, four days ago, I was walking with my dad every night. We'd go from here all the way down up here and back watching the sunset. You see the dolphins and this is gorgeous, gorgeous walk. And I stepped on it and I was like, ah. Walked on the beach yesterday. Oh. So over the past four days, Josh has collected, get this, nearly 10 pounds of those tar balls down at La Jolla Shores. He's found a lot more towards Scripps Pier. He said they've been bigger and more frequent. And at first glance, you might think that there had been some type of oil spill offshore. However, we talked to the lifeguards here at La Jolla Shores who had in turn contacted Scripps Institute of Oceanography and they tell us these tar balls are actually coming from natural sea beach offshore as the ocean bottom opens and closes these tar balls rise to the surface in one spot. Right now we're in like mid tide the tide gets up to about right there and okay. by low tide it sucks out quite a bit. The low tides, you see lots of it because it'll be right here in clumps, especially in the seaweed. Like I have some pieces in here that are like a baseball. We'll just keep walking. So now, Josh, I got, I got to tell you that I met this kid maybe about three or four years ago, and he's been evolving as a person. Uh, he's heading back to school, Chicago. Why he would leave this, I don't know. But <laughs> before he leaves the beach here and working at what a fabulous summer job, He's going to have a big beach cleanup this coming Monday. Not today, but next Monday, 6 p.m., right here at the boat launch ramp. He wants all of San Diego to come down here and help clean up this beach and thank it one last time. So good kid doing great things. Hey, Sean, in addition to that kind of a volunteer effort, is, is the city doing anything to do a cleanup here as well? Uh, at this point, no, that's why Josh and his dad and other guys and gals from these different businesses are coming down and picking them up, but they are a gooey mess, so that's part of the reason he's doing it. Great. By the way, Sean, what's the secret to getting it off the bottom of your foot Ooh. or flip-flop along the beach? Uh, okay, it's kind of, and you probably, Heather and Carla, you probably dealt with this gum in kids' hair. Oh, yeah. How do you get that out with a little bit of oil? Well, he says baby oil, and we'll show you this coming up at 6.30. I actually get some on my hands. Baby oil, little paper towel, boom. It's off, it's non-toxic, a little soap to get rid of the baby oil, or just rub it into your hands and make them feel soft and uh, cuddly for the rest of the day. <laughs> cuddly hands, yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, Sean. I love it. Sean, thanks. Yeah, when I got gum in my hair as a kid, my mom just cut it.